inhabiting all over the world. Let's see how the residents around the world think about their opinions towards the earthquake. I think the Suwama in Japan earthquake is really a great tragedy to Japan. Many people died in the disaster, and more than that are not missing. Even if they are lucky enough to be survivors, what he or she has been to will make them suffer from PTSD like they for a long time. Yes, that's right. The disaster earthquake and tsunami that hit Japan 10 days ago made coastal countries economy 2,025 billion. Over 4% of GDP, the World Bank say is a record on Monday. Um, my sympathy for all the people who lost their dear ones during the earthquake in Japan. Cheer up. Yeah, and um, it is said that the Japanese government is one of the most efficient governments in the world. However, they seem to be quite slow in reacting to the disaster. That's unbelievable. Yes. Uh, I was very confused about how to feel. On the other hand, our problems are mounting up. On the other, Japan's are Yeah, um, what the strike me is that very 50 people who stick to the dangerous nuclear plant, plant. They do this for their country, putting their lives aside, and leave their dear family alone. I can't imagine how hard it feels like. Uh, I pray that nuclear disaster in Japan does not get any worse. They are still seeing my thoughts and not to be home. Yeah, so... Pray for Hey girl, do you know the earthquake in New Zealand? What's the earthquake? The earthquake! You don't know the earthquake! Like this, earthquake! Alright. Oh. So, what's going on? Can you tell me? Oh, the earthquake was happened in New Zealand. And it's a huge upgrade. Negative three. Six point three. You know that. It's hard. How could it be? Oh, because this one we haven't in Christchurch, which to be you the second biggest city in New Zealand. So that's why it's so serious? Yeah. And besides, it's much sure than it has one. So, that's so heartbreaking. We should mm. Mm, save our pennies for them and mm. hope they could be alright. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go do it. Oh, do you still remember the earthquake creature causing um, May 12th in, in 2008 in China? Oh, it took more than 60,000 people fly away. That was a big Of course, oh, but I realize that it's called Hong Kong. Uh, oh, oh what is that? You're from Hong Kong, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you must know much more than we do, right? Yes, we just learned China. We got many messages from China. Oh. Um, from newspaper, TV, group program, and that time they go up. Oh my god, you must be heartbroken, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just think so. Yeah. Just think about it. It's, you know, more than 60,000. It's, it's a huge number, right? It's, oh. Really huge. Can you imagine that? In a few seconds. Yeah. Oh god. Oh. It's, yeah, within a few seconds. And after, after that, we just lost everything. I can, I can, yeah, I can kind of, uh, oh, so, okay. maybe we can check out the next time, right? What's that, the beam? So, what can we do about um, earthquakes when, when this kind of accident happens? Let's see some tips. When the earthquake happens, first, remember open the door. Always. Second, you should, you should under the table or if you have a book, ha put on your hat. Third, remember to turn off the fire so that we can prevent from the gas explode. When it happens, it's the best place to hide because you have food. Okay.
survivor. I'm gonna make it. I will survive. Keep on surviving.